So the five categories, some skeptics actually uh, want verifiable information inside a room while the person is out. Hopefully, <laughs> this is horrible, but hopefully in a state of, of cardiac arrest, ventricular fibrillation from which they're returned, but that shows that the heart's not working. In a very short time, in some experiments, 15 seconds, the upper brain activity stops, measurable upper brain activity. So if you're, re if you're reporting something, uh, say a minute, two minutes later, that's highly evidential. But the second category would be if you're, the material you're reporting is a distance away. So floors in the hospital, back at your house in the city, across the state where a brother's praying for you. A lot of these people are attracted to family members when they, when they uh, say they're up above their uh, body. Okay, third case, NDEs in the blind. Fourth case, oh, and in the blind, people gravitate to the cases where the person is congenitally blind from birth. Yeah, you're so, talking about people that cannot see, have a, an experience, and they might go into another state and see a person that they've never seen before and they actually see them and they come back and they're still blind, but they describe it. They can describe the color clothes the person was wearing and, and so exactly. this is what we're talking about, okay? Exactly. The fourth one, fourth and fifth are Twilight Zone type ones. Four is cases where someone who's very healthy, in one case it was a nurse, people who are very healthy get drawn into the NDE with the person and said, I didn't know what was going on, but I was watching the person go down the tunnel and I came back with them. You know, so you have, I mean, I've, I've got a case or two here that's like, you know, it's like, oh yeah, you're gonna make a movie out of that, aren't you? You know, but the last one to me is the most intriguing and that's where somebody else has met. You return from a near death state but you learn some information from somebody who's been dead for two years, 10 years, and they report something that's verifiable. Yeah. And um, th th some of these are very uh, evidential. Yeah, and atheists and skeptics have looked at this evidence and uh, you know they don't wanna say there's an afterlife, but here you have John Beloff in the Humanist Magazine. I said this last week, but I wanna say it again. In the Humanist Magazine, he's argued that the evidence for an afterlife was so strong that humanists should just admit it and attempt to interpret what happens in naturalistic terms, okay? So we've got skeptics that are taking notice of this and it's busting up their worldview and they're saying somehow we gotta deal with this.